How to keep flies off dogs. If your home has a fly infestation, your dog may be suffering more than you know. Not only can flies annoy dogs, but fly bites can also irritate the skin and cause infections. Getting flies off of your dog and preventing further bites can be as simple as changing your cleaning habits and using everyday cleaners. Grooming your dog often, cleaning your home regularly, and using fly repellents can all keep these pests away from your dog. Welcome to Best Choices. Why is your dog attracting flies? Here are several reasons flies like dogs. 1. Dogs with unclean or matted coats caused by skin conditions or illnesses are prime targets for attracting flies. 2. The perineal area of your dog can be a breeding ground for flies if it has fecal matter, as the insects are known to lay their eggs in that region. When the eggs hatch, they can turn into maggots and infect your pet's body. 3. Some types of flies, such as horseflies will bite, especially around their ears. This video will tell you, how to grooming and training your dog, preventing fly infestations, and trying natural or chemical fly repellents. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1. Grooming and training your dog. Number 1. Groom your dog regularly to prevent attracting flies. Flies gravitate towards dirt and bad odors. If your dog is brushed and bathed once or twice a month, they are less likely to attract flies. Brush and bathe your dog in addition to their monthly grooming session whenever you notice flies targeting your dog especially during the summer months when flies are more active. Make sure you're cleaning and trimming the fur around your dog's anus and genitals so it doesn't get matted or dirty. Number 2. House train your dog. Flies often lay their eggs in fecal matter. If your dog has poor hygiene, they will be more susceptible to fly bites. Train your dog to toilet in a specific area of the yard to make cleanup easier. Set up a daily toileting routine for your dog and reward them for relieving themselves in the designated area. Number 3. Wash your dog's bedding at least once a week. Cleaning your dog bedding will prevent it from accumulating smells or stains and get rid of any fly eggs that might be hiding in the fabric. Hand or machine wash your dog bedding with a pet-friendly soap and hot water once a week to keep it free from dirt, odors, or fly eggs. Number 4. Sprinkle baking soda on your dog's bedding. Sprinkle baking soda on your dog's bedding to get rid of lingering odors. If your dog's bedding still smells unpleasant after washing it, baking soda may get rid of the scent. Sprinkle a little baking soda on the bedding, leave it for about 15 minutes and then vacuum it up. Reapply the baking soda as needed or whenever you wash your dog's bedding to keep the bedding smelling fresh. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Preventing fly infestations. Number 1. Install fly screens. If you live in an area where flies are a problem, we recommend installing fly screens on your doors and windows. This will help to keep them out of your home, as well as protect your dog's food from contamination. Fly screens can be purchased and installed on your own, or there are many professionals who can do it for you. Number 2. Clean up dog food or bones around your dog's kennel immediately. Do not leave dog food or bones out, as flies are attracted to open food sources. Set specific meal times for your dog to prevent their living space from becoming infested with flies. Number 3. Vacuum your carpet several times a week. If your dog is often bothered by flies in your home, you may have an infestation. Regularly vacuuming your carpet will help you pick up any fly eggs on the ground that may be unseen by the naked eye. 
after vacuuming your home, empty the vacuum cleaner outside to prevent reinfestation. Number 4. Clean up any trash or waste in your home or yard. Because flies thrive in dirty conditions, keeping your dog's living areas well maintained is important for preventing fly bites. Throw away any garbage, dog waste, or old food as you see it to avoid unpleasant smells, which can attract flies quickly. Number 5. Bring your dog inside during the hottest times of the day. Flies are most active during the summer months, especially during the day. The hotter the temperature, the more likely your dog is to be infested with flies. Keep your dog indoors during the late morning and afternoon to prevent fly bites. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Trying natural or chemical fly repellents. Number 1. Apply petroleum jelly to your dog's ears. If your dog's ears are often bitten by flies, apply a thin coating of petroleum jelly to the area. Squirt a small amount of petroleum jelly into your hand and rub it into both sides of your dog's ears. This will prevent flies from landing there again and give your dog's wounds time to heal. Open bite wounds can attract more flies, so applying petroleum jelly to your dog's ears is important to prevent more irritation. Number 2. Make a fly repellent from vinegar, mineral oil, and scented essential oils. If you want to avoid spraying your dog with chemical repellents, mix 1 cup, 240 ml of apple cider vinegar, and 1 cup, 240 ml of mineral oil with 1 2 teaspoon, 2.5 ml of the following essential oils, citronella, lemongrass, bitter orange, eucalyptus, and clove. Finish the mixture with 2 cups, 470 ml of dish soap, then mix one part of the natural fly repellent with 5 parts water. Spray your dog with the fly repellent, targeting areas that flies often land on. Keep in mind that this repellent isn't proven to be safe or effective. Discuss this with your veterinarian beforehand. The following are some good natural fly repellents. 1. Citronella. 2. Lemongrass oil, you can put this on your dog or in the area to effectively get rid of flies. 3. Catnip, this has also been proven to repel flies. 4. Coconut oil, this is another proven natural fly repellent you can safely put on your dog. 5. Peppermint oil, you can put this oil around your home in areas where you suspect pests are getting in. It will repel aphids, beetles, caterpillars, fleas, flies, lice, mice, and moths. You just don't want to put this on your dog's skin. Number 3. Hang up fly traps or buy fly trapping plants. Hangable fly traps stay out of a dog's reach while catching any flies that may be in the house. If, for whatever reason, you are against fly traps, purchase a Venus flytrap or other carnivorous plant to naturally lower your fly infestation. Venus flytraps can be grown outdoors or by a windowsill. They require routine care and maintenance to keep healthy. Number 4. Install a fly zapper for a reusable trap that kills flies. You will need a free electrical outlet available to plug in the zapper. Once you hang it up in your home, let its light attract nearby flies. The flies drop into a plate on the bottom that you can slide out and clean off. It's kind of fun to hear the loud zap when you're not even breaking a sweat. Electric zappers produce a loud noise when flies land on them. If you're not prepared for it, it may be a little annoying. There are some zappers that work well outdoors, which the manufacturer will list on the packaging. These zappers work best when you're nearby. When you don't need them, take them down so they can't attract more flies. You could also get a UV light trap. UV traps are quieter than regular electronic traps. The flies land on glued boards you can remove and replace as needed. Number 5. Light a few citronella candles in your home. Citronella is a scent that's safe for dogs and that insects find repellent. If you would prefer not to kill flies, purchase several citronella candles and use them in the rooms your dog most often frequents. 
Other citronella-based fragrances, like essential oils or cleaning sprays, can also repel insects but flies find smoke most repulsive. Never leave your candle unattended or low enough that your pet could knock it over. Number 6. Buy a pet-safe chemical fly repellent. Not all fly repellents are pet-safe, so read the instructions carefully before purchasing one for your pet. Avoid buying fly repellents that are not explicitly made for dogs. Apply the fly repellent to your dog or its belongings daily or as instructed by the fly repellent to keep flies far from your dog. Fly repellents made from pyrethrum are usually non-toxic and safe for dogs. Pet-safe fly repellents are available online or at most pet stores. Number 7. Ask your veterinarian about prescribed balms or dog-safe cleaners. If your dog is frequently targeted by flies, bring them to a local vet for an antibiotic cream. Let your veterinarian know about any fly repellents you're currently using, and ask them for recommendations on natural or chemical fly repellents that are safe for your dog. Number 8. Avoid fly repellents that are not specifically dog safe. Even if a cleaner is safe for humans, it still may be harmful or even deadly to dogs. If a cleaner is not specifically marked dog safe or has not been recommended by your veterinarian, do not apply it to your dog. Tips 1. Dogs with longer ears are more susceptible to fly bites because their blood vessels are closer to the skin in that area. Keep a close eye on these dogs to protect them from bites. 2. Use safe and natural fly repellents, place a flycatcher, plant fly repelling plants, and feed healthy food to your dog. 3. Use fly screens or keep windows and doors closed to prevent flies from entering your home. Warnings Before buying a fly repellent from stores, make sure you read the instructions and ingredients on the label carefully and confirm that the ingredients are safe and effective to use on your pet. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.